Hey there, this is Erica from Ember Educating, and this channel is teaching tips, tools, ideas, and resources for new college instructors. If that's you, go ahead and click subscribe below. Currently, I'm doing a teacher summer series, so just advice for things to do over the summer if you're not teaching. Uh, the whole playlist is linked below in case you've missed out on other videos. Today, we're focusing on seven different apps that I recommend having on your phone as an educator over the summer. And so a lot of these are tied to ideas from earlier videos about creating good routines and being productive. Uh, but in this case, it's literally, you know, the apps that I recommend putting on your phone. And so to begin, the first one I recommend is, you know, it's already there if you have an iPhone, and that's voice memos. So basically, it's just a tool where you click the button and it records you speaking, click it again, and the recording is saved, right? And so I recommend this if you're on the go, you get an idea, you hear something, you learn about an event, right? And you don't have time to like put it into your Google Calendar or whatever, your, your planner. You can just say, click the button. Remember, you know, Sarah just told me that we want to have dinner next Friday at 7 p.m. at this restaurant. Click, right? And so it can be faster doing the voice recording rather than typing things out, especially if, you know, you're not supposed to be typing if you're in a car, for example. Um, so I do find this a really helpful app. You know, you can just take audio notes throughout the day and then at night, you know, listen to them and add them where it's appropriate in your planner or your phone, you know, tools, calendar, etc. Uh, so there should be free versions of this in you know, Android phones if you don't have voice memo. Uh, but if you do have an iPhone, then it just comes with the phone. And so I mentioned the second tool in that little spiel, the first one, and that's Google Calendar. Uh, so I really like the calendar because it makes it easy for remembering deadlines and events. I do color code and I recommend you doing so as well. Uh, so basically I have one color for like, you know, my academic events and deadlines. I have another color for my creative writing stuff. I have another color for family things. And so it can just be really easy to see on one screen what's going on with different aspects of your life. And then obviously it syncs across different uh, devices, which makes it easy to make sure that wherever you are, if you have one of your devices, you can see what's going on on Google Calendar. So do highly recommend it for those of you who are not using it currently to its full potential. Now, if you're doing a lot of projects and you need a project management tool, you know, separate from a calendar, then I recommend Trello, as I've mentioned in numerous uh, videos on this channel. I do have two tutorials um, linked below in case you haven't used it before. But this is a great tool, free tool, right, mobile and on your desktop, that you can really organize your tasks, your to-dos when it comes to major projects. Okay. Um, so I do recommend the free version. I don't think the gold version is really necessary unless you really like the additions that I'm going to go through in that video. Uh, but if you do um, want to try it out and you haven't used it before, I do have a referral link below. Um, but really, if you need projects, even fun projects, not just academic stuff, right? This is summer. You know, if you have ideas for DIYing in your house or you have things you want to do with friends or things you want to get done outside of your teaching life, it can be great for managing those as well. And then of course, during academic year, managing your projects when you're teaching too. Now heading back to Google for a second, Google Drive is another one that I really recommend. Of course, it's useful during the academic year, but I think it's useful during the summer as well because you can really have an organization of documents and spreadsheets, forms, you know, whatever the case may be that you're using the Google Suite for. You know, okay, I want to take notes on this idea I have. I can just open it up immediately on my phone or my iPad or my tablet or my desktop or my laptop, right? Because it syncs throughout all of them. So it's another one that even if it's just like fun ideas or notes that you're taking, it can be really easy. But if you do do work during the summer, right, then having that organized in Google Drive makes it easy to find all of your work in one place. So do highly recommend using it. I also have a video about using Google Suite when teaching. So if you want to watch that one, I'll link it below as well. Now, if you want to make sure that you're creating good habits over the summer, one thing I mentioned in my routine video, then Strides is a free app that I recommend for this. Because really all you do is just say, okay, I want to do these things a certain amount of time, like maybe five days a week or every single day, once a week, once a month. And it just appears on your screen on the days it's supposed to happen. And you say, swipe if you did it, swipe if you did not do it, right? And so it tracks for you, right? If you're doing these things that you want to do or that you don't want to do, right? So maybe you're trying to get rid of a habit and then, okay, did you do it today? No, excellent, right? So that's what you're looking for in that case. So free app, I do recommend it for habit creation. So that one's called Strides, I'll link it below. 
Now something else to consider just for like more of a fun but still productive aspect is podcasts or Spotify, right? Um, so the podcast app that comes with the iPhone or using Spotify for podcast listening. Um, this is great when I go for walks, when I'm out by the pool, when I'm in the car. You can just listen to either fun things or educational things in podcast form, right? Because it's just audio, there's nothing to read um, when you're out and about. And I have my favorite podcast. I have an actual a video about teaching podcasts, but there's tons of fun ones as well um, that you can really benefit from. Ones that are about meditation or ones that are about entrepreneurship are ones that I like you know, listening to. But in your case, right, whatever it is that you enjoy thinking about, nature, science, writing, etc., I'm sure there's a podcast about it. So I recommend having this on your phone and just downloading a few episodes so you're not using your Wi-Fi or your data when you're walking, for example. Uh, but this can be a great tool just for, again, some you know enjoyable or educational material when you're doing other tasks. And then this one might be a bit of a strange one, but I also recommend having at least one uh, game in your phone. And so when you need a little break or when you're in line somewhere or whatever the case may be, you know, you just want to decompress for a few minutes, open up your favorite game, right? So there's some of the free ones. I'm nerdy, so I like having ones that are like word games and like, you know, uh, letter scrambles. I also have Settlers of Catan on there. Uh, but for you, what is it that you enjoy? Do you enjoy Kenny Crusher kind of games? Do you enjoy Sims, you know, the free play? So really, I recommend just having at least one game that you can use when you need at least, again, a few minutes, I need to take a break, let me just do this as a little bit mind-numbing or enjoyable. So our recommendation is the word game, right? But you can do whatever it is that you enjoy as your gameplay. Now, another app I'm trying out is Notion, but I'm not going to talk about that here because I'm still seeing if it's worth it for me uh, to use. If it is, I'll have a video later down in the summer giving you a tour of how I'm using this particular tool. I'm um, more so for my writing than for my teaching because again, it is summer, which is a great time to get a lot of writing done. So if you found this video helpful, click like and let me know. Subscribe if you don't want to miss out on any future content as well. And again, I have various videos linked below that might interest you too.